Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're JA Chronicles and we make foodie content weekly to hopefully give you some cooking inspiration. Thursday, we made slow cooker sweet and sour pork chops. Mix some diced onions, ketchup, and brown sugar together in your crock pot. Then add your pork chops. Cook it on low for six hours. For a side, we added half a cup of rice, half a cup of water, and some frozen veggies to our rice cooker. These are always a hit and our kiddo loves them. We had leftovers Friday. Saturday, we made black bean burgers. Everest absolutely devoured these. We thoroughly blended some spinach in our food processor. Then we added in some tomatoes, onions, and peppers. Once they were well blended, we added a can of black beans, garlic, Montreal steak spice, basil, paprika, barbecue sauce, and breadcrumbs. Blend it until you get the consistency you'd like. We form the burgers on a parchment lined baking sheet. They baked at 375 for 8 minutes, flipping once, and then baking for another 5 minutes. We added barbecue sauce and shredded cheese on top of these before baking them for another 4 minutes. We serve them with some mac and cheese, and we love them. Sunday, we made Borson chicken pot pie. Guys, this was amazing. Jaden said it was the best pot pie he's ever had. Start by cooking your chicken breasts. We season them with seasoning salt, basil, chili powder, parsley, and garlic. Chop any veggies you'd like to add. We use zucchini, carrots, and bell peppers. Once the chicken is done, add the veggies in with some garlic and let them cook until tender. Add your chopped chicken, flour, and frozen peas into the pan. Once the chill has come off the peas, add in the borson cheese and milk. Let it cook until it's melted. Roll out your pie dough and add it into your pie plate. Pour in your filling and add the remaining dough on top.
This cooked at 400 for about 40 minutes or until the dough is cooked through. Keep Everest from attacking the oven, he hangs out in this planter. I'd suggest putting something underneath your pie to prevent it from leaking all over your oven. This was super good and I highly recommend trying it. Monday, we made baked French toast sticks. Mix your cinnamon and milk together in a bowl. I can't remember who I saw do this, but it worked to help evenly spread the cinnamon. Then crack your eggs in. Cut your bread into thirds. Dip your breadsticks in the cinnamon mixture and place them on a parchment lined baking sheet. They baked at 350 for about 7 minutes, flipping halfway. Tuesday we made some pesto poutine. The pesto gave it a nice spin. Chop your potatoes into sticks. Then let them soak in water. We find this helps them be more fluffy. In a bowl, mix pesto, oil, garlic powder, Montreal steak spice, and pepper. Dry your potatoes and then coat them in the pesto mixture. Dump them on a baking sheet and bake them at 425 for 15 minutes or until they're cooked through. We forgot to take a video, but we served them topped with cheese and gravy. Wednesday, we made a French onion chicken and veggie bake. Start by chopping your choice of veggies into fairly large chunks. Add one cup of rice, the veggies, one and a half cups of water, and an onion soup packet into your Instant Pot. Cook it on high pressure for 4 minutes, then quick release it. Once it's cooked, pour it into a baking dish, add chopped chicken and cheese. Then give it a good mix. We topped ours with more cheese and breadcrumbs. It baked at 350 for 15 minutes. You just want the cheese to melt and heat everything through. Hi. Hi. As you can see, Everest was very excited for supper. He needed to watch it as it cooked. You're silly. Hi. 
This was really good, but I recommend adding half a cup of water before baking it to help keep all the rice soft. Thank you so much for watching this week's What's For Dinner. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future meal inspiration. Check out our family channel linked in the description. Have a great day, guys. Bye!